you're fighting, uh, uh, sorry, Patrick on Saturday. What do you think of him as an opponent for you? Um, he's a tough, scrappy gentleman. He's got very good submissions off his back. It's a, it's a unique puzzle that I think we found a way how to solve it, though. What kind of advantages do you think you have over him? Um, experience, strength, wrestling, speed. I think there's a lot of lot of different things that I can bring to the table that I can uh, prevail over Patty Holham. And how have you been preparing for him? Just like I always do, just working my butt off day in and day out. As an American coming to Dublin, what do you think about the explosion of MMA that everyone seems to think Conor McGregor has led in the last 18 months? Yeah, this is amazing. I mean, I hear that the Irish fans just love combat sports in general. So, I mean, I'm really excited to get in that cage and just kind of feel that um, the essence that is that crowd that sold out in 15 minutes. So, it's, it's going to be a unique experience. I'm, I'm happy that I get to start the card off and hopefully with a bang. Uh, speaking about uh, starting the card off, um, a lot of North American cards don't really have a full house for the very first fight. And it all indications seem to be that there will be a full house right from the very first fight. So how do you prepare to fight in front of a sold out crowd? Hey, it's, uh, the only difference is the canvas. You know what I mean? Every fight is exactly the same. i got to get in that cage, the cage door shuts, and I'm trying to take some dude's head off. So it doesn't matter what's going on outside the cage, I have zero effect on that. So if there's one person or a thousand people, it doesn't matter to me. I'm still going to go over there and try and take my, t my, my uh, opponent's head off. Do you feel like you're taking on a, a villain character role coming into this fight, obviously fighting the hometown guy? Yes and no. I mean, it's all based on how everybody looks at me. I think I'm a pretty likable guy, nice guy. Um, no disrespect to Patty Holohan, but I'm, I'm here to take care of business. You know what I mean? This is my job. This is what I do. This is what I love to do. So, I mean, I work my butt off, and if I go in there and take care of business, then it shouldn't matter. He's got a lot of submission victories, especially with chokes. Uh, he's a purple belt, and I believe you're also a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. I just got my brown not too long ago. Oh, so Congratulations. Thank you. Um, yeah, so he's got uh, high, um, some submissions as well. I've, most of my wins are by submission as well. So, I mean, it's going to be a very unique fight. So, I mean, just uh, you're not going to want to blink on this one. You never know what can happen. That's a great thing about the sport. Um, there's many different ways to win the fight. So, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be exciting. Can I just ask you, you've, you've obviously traveled here, it's taken like, you know, whatever, 12, 15 uh, hours to, to fly over, um, you're, you're in the middle of cutting weight, um, does, that, uh, does that throw you off a little bit, or have you done this type of thing before? The time difference is the only thing that's really kind of affected me, but we got here on Monday, so I had a whole other day uh, um, aside from the rest of the fighters, but uh, the, the time difference is the only factor. In, inside of that, like, we got on a, a routine, started working out, our weight's coming down quite nicely, but if you prepare properly outside of that, and then once we get here, it's, it's all going to go down um, the same way, you know what I mean? I'm going to be ready to fight once I make weight, and then uh, it's just the outcome's going to become the outcome. Yeah. And in terms of preparation, then, the, the, there is some YouTube uh, footage of uh, Paddy, but um, probably the, the, the best clip you could get of him was when he fought to get into the tough house, and obviously he was beaten by a wrestler who just basically held him down. Yeah. Uh, has that given you any insights, or has that helped you form a game plan for Paddy? Uh, my coaches do a very, very well job of breaking down everything they can find, and I'm, my, one of my, my boxing coach actually found a lot more video than was out there. Different names, different venues, different people, and um, he has an extremely well game plan for this fight. Um, so we're prepared in multiple angles. We have different. We've had different strikers, different grapplers. Every different thing come at me, but I'm prepared for any type of fighter that comes to the to the table. I mean, if Conor McGregor wanted to step in for him, I could fight Conor McGregor tomorrow. So it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter who, what he brings to the table. I'm going to be prepared. Okay. And on your record, you have uh, submissions and decisions. So just give us a flavor of what we can expect on Saturday night. Just, just expect a lot of fireworks, man. It's going to be exciting. So I mean, from bell to bell. It's going to be a war. Okay, great. Thanks, man, Josh. Best yeah. luck on Saturday. Thank you, Josh. Your, uh, just, your last fight was on a UFC pay per view undercard and aired on Fox Sport 1. What for you are the differences now fighting on Fight Pass in relation to sponsorship? And uh, uh, two questions. First off, is that something you're looking to return to the pay per view events or are you enjoying the, the experience of traveling internationally and fighting for the UFC internationally? Um, the, the, the trip over here was, is going to be amazing. I get to stay a couple days extra after the fight, so I'm really looking forward to that. As far as where I am on the card, I don't care. I could be the first fight, I could be the last fight, I could be right smack at that in the middle. The benefits of being the first fight, I know exactly when I'm walking to the cage, I know exactly when I'm going to throw down. When you're throughout the rest of the card, you don't know how other fights are going to go. So that's a blessing in itself. Not being on pay-per-view, I don't care about that. My manager does a very good job of getting sponsors and things of that nature. I get paid to fight, so that's what I'm here to do. You know what I mean? I'm here to fight. What they can get me is extra money. That's, you know, that's also a great benefit, but that's not what I'm fighting for, you know what I mean? So um, I could care less if it, was, if it was not televised at all, if it was just the people here watching. So, but I mean, yes, it's, it's nice to have extra cash in the pocket once, once you do fight and different people wanting to sponsor stuff like that, but it's really not that big of an influence to me. I'm not about money, man. I'm here about the experience and about the enjoyment of getting the fight in front of people. Absolutely, and you mentioned embracing the villain role. Is the facial hair an expression of that, or 
will that still be there in the cage on Saturday? Uh, it'll still be here in the cage on Saturday. Um, there's another mustachio person that's fight, fighting on the card, so this is a little tribute to him. Me and him have a little beef that we had before, so I don't even know why I started growing it out. I just You get lazy, you don't want to shave when you're training, and that's kind of where it started, and I just let it go. So. What's the beef with uh, you and Ian McCall? <laughs> It's not really any beef. I just I got asked who I wanted to fight um, about a year ago in January after I submitted a, an Olympian and they asked me who do you want to fight next. And I was like I'd love to fight Ian McCall. He's one of the top guys in our weight class. He's a very big name. He's a very exciting fighter. I think that our styles would match up extremely well for an awesome fight. And um, that's all I said. You know, nothing nothing against him. Nothing no, nothing personal like that. And it blew up into like an article on MMA Weekly about how he doesn't know who I am. But then I beat up his friend because um, I fought Antonio Benuelos. I beat up his best friend. But then you know who I am again so it, it turned into a thing and I was like I just want to fight him for his mustache so I can shave it off and I <laughs> save it in a Ziploc baggie tack it on my wall you know it's something that I a piece of memorabilia that I could get that nobody else would ever have and that's where it started and it just keeps steamrolling and then we had a little bit of Twitter beef not from with me but with my um, social media people you know I mean a Twitter beef with him so I mean it's something that I would love to happen I just had his PR rep hit me up on Twitter saying that she would love for that to happen for us to fight for mustaches so I figure if, I, if he's fighting for mustache I got to bring something to the table as well that's kind of guess where it kind of came from so I'm hoping that can happen but I mean right now Patty Holohan is uh, my first my first priority all right thank you very much thanks, thanks, guys. thanks very much Josh